What's up everybody? Today's review is on the DeWalt Rapid Load Countersink Bits. So countersink bits are or tapered bits are different from your standard brad points because as you can see they're tapered on the end rather than being the same diameter all the way along. And countersink means they have this thing up here, which makes a little um, hole for your screw head to sit in. I'll show you that a little later. So you can buy them individually, just the tapered bit. And I believe you can buy them individually with the countersink. But the best deal is to get the kit with the um, Allen key the number 6, the number 8, and the number 10. Um, those three are the ones you're probably going to use the most. I will put a link in the description for these guys. They're really cheap, like this only cost me like 20 or 30 dollars. The nice thing about them having a hex shank on the end is you can put your, them in your impact driver. So say you need to um, Maybe you have something that's a little ways in from the edge of your workpiece and you need to drill a straight hole with a normal drill. The chuck would start banging against your workpiece with, with the rapid load. You can just take a standard bit adapter and if you wanted you could put two bit adapters to make it extra long. Now obviously you would prefer to have one with the ball bearing so that when you pull it back to clean the hole out, the bit doesn't come out of the um, extender. And then you can drill. And you don't bang your chuck against your workpiece. That's extremely, I find it extremely handy for when I'm making doors. So, you can adjust the depth with the little key. Just like that. Now you do need to make sure that um, it's very tight so that it doesn't slip on you. This one's so tight I can't even get it to move. But you get the idea. Obviously you can't like put it right at the tip here or else it will break. And also it will be too thin for it to get any grip on it. So now I will show you what I mean by countersink, although you probably already know. And I'll put it in my drill. Normally I use it in my um, drill, the either the 12 volt or this one. I don't use it in my impact unless I'm d working in hard to reach spaces or I'm assembling things. So let's see, I'll put the camera up a bit. So that you can see. That's good. So this is... One minute. So a normal screw, when you set it in, if you set it in deep because it's in pine, the head is going to make its own hole, but it will be messy and eventually if it's outside it will close over itself. Whereas with these, I believe this is the number 8. And you get a nice clean hole for your screw head to sit in. Now the one thing that these don't come with, which is a little sad, is a stop collar. Other other um, brands have a stop collar so you can set it so you can't keep going and make a deep hole like that for precision work. Although normally it does take a little bit of extra force to get it to go all the way in. So then I'll show you putting this how nice the screw fits in that hole 
this is the wrong size screw, but you'll get the idea. Actually, I'll just grab a right, a right screw. And it's sunk deep in there. Now, obviously, when you're using an impact, you want to have one that has considerable power. Not torque, but power without impacting, because these aren't going to get your impact to um, do the impacting. And also, you don't want them to do that, because it will, could damage your work piece or the bit. So, the torque doesn't matter when it comes to these. It's the amount of power it can put out without impacting. You don't want it to do that. So, smaller impacts like this Makita 12 volt aren't the best for it. But if you have one like this DeWalt 887 with the three speeds, put it on the second speed so that it's um, around 2800 RPMs or less. You don't want to um, have it going like 3600 RPMs. And you can do it without impacting. And just for reference, you can't do it on one speed. Maybe you could do the um, number 6 on first speed, but not number 10. Or maybe you could. The, the first speed on this impact driver changes every single time I use it. So like I said, I'll put a link in the description. They don't come with a case or a box you can put them in. So I just put them in this guy. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.